Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you four different apartments at a $2,000 budget, $2,500 budget, $3,000 budget, and something over $3,000. These four options are all right in downtown Chicago, all relatively near each other. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This first apartment is one of my personal favorites because this building is right where I first landed when I moved to Chicago. This video shows this unit on the ninth floor. Please keep in mind the actual unit would be on the sixth floor. So even though this one has a bit of a view, the one in the sixth floor is like quite obstructed. You are looking at a brick wall. This unit is a one bed, one bath, and it is a whopping 385 square feet. She's very small, but it's so cute. This is definitely a unit you would like if you're going for more of the aesthetics. You want the floor to ceiling windows. You want the white countertops, the subway tiling in the bathroom and everything. Plus one of the things about this one that is pretty unique for something at this price point is it does have in unit washer dryer. Most do not if you're looking at something under 2000. It's definitely a smaller footprint than some of the other options, but if you're looking to save some money and you're looking at a $2,000 budget, I think that this is such a cute, apartment and it is a true one bed versus most things at this size or at this price point would also be a studio. Moving on into the second option, this would work for somebody who has a $2,500 budget. This is a one bed, one bath, and it is quite a bit larger at 690 square feet. This one is on the cusp of like your old town Lincoln Park area. Very cool building. It's got like all of the black hardware for all of the finishes, which I know people love. Definitely a lot more space to play with. You've got the coat closet. The kitchen is so much bigger than what we've seen before. Still have floor to ceiling windows in this living room space. Keep in mind, this exact unit that we have filmed has extra tall ceilings. The actual unit would have standard size ceilings, but still Still lots of natural light, really bright and open feeling. This one is a one bed, so fully separated off bedroom with the window in the bedroom too. And then the best part is this massive walk-in closet. You have so much more storage in this one than you do in the first apartment. But of course the price point is a bit higher for that. Next up with option number three, this would be for somebody with a $3,000 budget. This unit's only a little bit bigger. It is at 715 square feet. This is in the Streeterville area. This building itself is shaped kind of like an oval. So the floor Floor plans are like a little bit more unique in how they're laid out because they're not all like cookie cutter squares. Ton of great storage in this one. You have the coat closet on this side as well as on the other side, you have the side-by-side -side washer dryers. A lot of people freaking love these because in Chicago, majority of our washer dryers are stacked, but these ones are side-by-side -side, and then you have the storage above too. Floor to ceiling windows, you would have beautiful views in Streeterville. Depending on where you're at in the building, you might even have lake views. The size of the kitchen, the size of the bedroom, overall just a big, large, very open feeling floor plan. This exact unit is 2000 741 so it would work well for somebody with a three thousand dollar budget looking for one beds also a lot of people really freak out about poles in the apartments and ask if they can be removed poles are structural those are needed in order to hold up buildings we see them a lot in floor to ceiling window style buildings it's just a structural piece i do not get offended by poles i actually think they look pretty cool and if you didn't already know you can actually mount a tv around a pole which kind of makes it like not a waste of space last but not least our most expensive option, which would be for somebody who is open to an apartment that is over $3,000. This is again in Streeterville. This building is known for their views. They have incredible views across the board. And this unit is the largest unit as well at 836 square feet. This is a west facing apartment. And although I will say like the finishes in here, in my opinion, are not as updated as the first couple of units that we saw just with the bathtub and the brown cabinets. It's just not giving me as modern. The views in this building make up for it. That is why your price point is so high. The unit itself is also huge. Like just the actual square footage of this and the floor plan that you can work with is really big. It is a fully enclosed bedroom. This one does have carpet in the bedroom. I know in some of their units they've removed it or you can ask for it to be removed and pay a little bit more. But look at this view. The iconic view shooting down the river. Like there are not many places in Chicago where you can have a view like that. This building is also generally really loved because they have a lot of storage in there. This walk-in closet is so big. You could do so, so much much with it. Coming in at $3,197. It is by far our most expensive option, also our largest option but that view is really what's kind of knocking that price point quite a bit higher. All right, guys, I hope you found this a little bit interesting, being able to see what the different price points can get you in the city currently. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know which option do you personally feel is the best value. Obviously the least expensive one is the least expensive one, the most expensive one's the most expensive, but which one do you think is worth its price point the most? I'm leaning towards number two. I just think that that's a really good floor plan for that price and you are still really accessible to being in the city but 
I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. If you are looking for an apartment or you're looking to buy in Chicago, I would love to help you. I am a broker with Compass. I do have my link in the description box, so feel free to fill that out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.